The Bills are now laying 13 despite a 1-1 regular season split and a minus 1 overall on the scoreboard versus Miami. However, you have Buffalo coming in as an accomplished late season peaking postseason performer for the fourth consecutive season under Sean McDermott as the Dolphins are playing a fifth road game in the last seven weeks under a rookie head coach after snapping a five-game losing streak with an 11-6 win against the offensively depleted Jets. Obviously, Miami's best competes. Their 8.2 yards per pass attempt is tops in the NFL, but it's been a long grind. They don't have much of a run running attack. The best RB, Raheem Mostert, has a broken thumb. Their number one QB hasn't played since getting another concussion on Christmas Day, and they can barely keep their other QBs in one piece for a full game. That YPA drops considerably if number three, Skylar Thompson, plays. Number one, Tua, his completion rate has been dipping. He hasn't been concussion cleared as of Tuesday. And number two, Teddy Bridgewater, will probably pull a muscle getting out of his chair during the week. None of them offer the wheels options that Bill's QB, Josh Allen, possesses. Buffalo's offense outsnapped Miami's 161 to 96 in the regular season split. So if the unit plays more efficiently, Buffalo wins this by about three touchdowns. And I'm going to go with them. My play here, Buffalo minus 13. I see them winning by 20 or more. So give me Buffalo minus 13 as the play here. What say you? Let me know in the comment section. Always interested to hear your take. Taylor, fade me. The winner be yours. Good luck, gang. Go get them. Get that cash. This is Trending Rabbit.